Right, let's go to the US now. President Biden has hailed the verdict of a court in the state of Georgia, which found three white men guilty of murdering a young black man, Ahmed Arbery, while he was out jogging. The three men claimed they were defending themselves while trying to perform a citizen's arrest. Um, they said Mr Arbery looked like a burglar. Our correspondent, Aline McBool, has been following the trial in Georgia. 0433. There have been times when this moment seemed a very distant prospect. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. The shout of relief came from the father of Ahmad Arbery, who was shot dead in February of last year. Two others were also found guilty of murder. They'd all seen 25-year-old Ahmad running through their neighborhood and claimed he'd fitted the description of a crime suspect. They chased him and killed him. During the trial, the man who fired the fatal shots, Travis McMichael, was the only one of the three to take to the witness stand. I shot him. Why? He, he had my gun. He, he struck me. It was obvious that he was, uh, it was obvious that, that he was attacking me, that if he would have got the shotgun from me, then it was a, this is a life or death situation. His justification was that he killed in self-defense, but of course that was only after he, his father and a neighbor had chased Ahmad Arbery in their pickup trucks for five minutes. Ahmad's family waited more than 10 weeks and had to rely on public pressure for the police to even make any arrests. I never thought this day would come, but God is good. Yes, he is. And I just want to tell everybody, thank you, thank you for those who marched, those who, who prayed, most of all, the, the ones who prayed. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, guys. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Well, there may still be questions about the way the police behaved after this killing, questions about the underlying issues surrounding race in the society that contributed to the killing. But for now, at least, all of those who for months have been calling for justice for Ahmad Arbery, there is just a huge sense of relief. Aline McBall, BBC News in Brunswick, Georgia. Well, let's speak now to Sonia Gibson Rankin, who is a law professor at the University of New Mexico and former president of the New Mexico Black Lawyers Association. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Thank you so much for having me. So given the current climate in the US and the justice system under the spotlight, what's your reaction to this verdict? My reaction is that this was the right decision. And I'm really grateful that the jury took the time to go through the evidence very carefully and to appropriately merit out justice from there. And what do you think the role here that race played when it comes to like the prosecution? How do you think they mentioned it, not mentioned it in this specific case? Our prosecutor here was very, very purposeful in her efforts to try this case on the facts as presented. She knew that in some instances, representations or presentations of race would were being used purposefully by the defense to muddy the facts, to enter this idea of doubt about the role of the victim. But our prosecutor here was purposeful. She purposefully raised it with the voir dire process and the selection of the jury, but the judge and the prosecutor made sure that the focus was on the facts so that justice could be merited out. And that has uh, clearly taken place in this uh, case. The jury reached their decision and that um, process is now at an end. But the, uh, there is other court cases pending. Could you just explain that to us? Absolutely. So we have now completed what was happening from the state charges. There was malice murder. There was felony murder, assault. Um, aggravated assault, false imprisonment. These were all state charges against the three defendants. Now we're looking to what will happen in the federal trials. There have also been federal char charges raised against the three defendants, and we'll see in February. That is where we will focus on the how Mr. Arbery's constitutional rights were violated, looking at if these were hate crimes. I see. Thank you for clearing that up. And just going back to the state uh, where this took place and we saw the reaction of the family outside. Uh, what's been the reaction as far as you can tell uh, in the state and in the US to this decision? 
the reaction has really been, particularly in the Black community and in the faith community, that it is imperative that each person stand up and speak out. The fact that charges weren't raised for over 10 weeks for what had occurred to Ahmad Arbery is really an indication of the role that his father played in making sure there was continued public pressure and the role of the fact that everyone is going to be tasked and is going to continue to want to make sure that people are brought to justice who commit these crimes. Okay, Sonia Gibson-Rankin, thank you very much for coming on the program and talking to us. Thank you. Thank you.